Today is a coffee roundup. Yo, I'm Saxon with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. And last week, oh man, there were nine items that were posted. We're gonna get through some of them right here. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. Treba over at Tumble Roads got a blog post and a video looking at small multiples. So a little bit ago, I had mentioned a blog post over on the Power BI blog talking about multivariate reporting. It was small multiples. And Treb's got another way that you could do small multiples inside of Power BI using a custom visual. So if this is something you're interested in or something you wanna try out to see if it works for your situation, definitely check out the blog post and the video down in the description below. All right, the first item over on the Power BI blog we are going to talk about is the release of Power BI Report Builder. This is something you're gonna to wanna to get if you're doing paginated reports with Power BI. Honestly, if you're doing paginated reports in SQL Server Reporting Services or Power BI Report Server, you're probably gonna to wanna to get this too. Power BI Paginated Report Builder has everything that you're used to from a paginated report perspective, and coming soon, it will have the ability to publish to Power BI as well as to be able to open from Power BI as well. It was also mentioned on the same topic of paginated reports that paginated reports in the Power BI service are now supported against analysis services live connection. So this means you can connect to analysis services. This means you can connect to Power BI data sets as well. And so if you're using premium and you've got the URL for the workspace, you can go ahead and actually connect to that. And you can do that from Paginated Report Builder as well. And if you're further interested, down in the description below, I've got a link to a blog that Chris Finland did talking about 10 reasons why you wanna download and use Power BI Paginated Report Builder. So go check that out if you're interested. Data flows are now GA. So with the GA, there are a couple things that come with it as well. So some of the items that are mentioned in this blog post are the fact that you can now get email notifications on schedule refresh failures. You can also take ownership of data flows. So before the GA, what would happen is if I created a data flow and then you tried to edit it or set up schedule refresh or do something with it, you would get a message saying you weren't the owner of the data flow. Now you can take ownership of it and then do what you need to do in the case that I'm not able to do it for whatever reason. Also with inside of premium, there are additional settings now that you can configure for data flows itself. So check out the blog post down in the description below for all the details of what came with GA and just to learn more about data flows. AutoML or machine learning is now available with Power BI data flows. This is in preview and you can go into your data flow if it's backed with premium capacity and you can enable AutoML for your data flows itself. So this is easily taking advantage of some common machine learning models against your data without needing to be a data scientist. This blog post goes and walks you through how to actually set up the AutoML and things to be aware of when you're going through it. It's basically just a wizard that you walk through, giving it the inputs that you want, which fields that you're gonna use with it, and then let it train the model, and then you can use it with your data flow. So if you have premium capacity, be sure to give this a spin and see if it can help enhance the data inside of your Power BI data flows. Links as always down in the description below, along with links for all the items in this week's roundup, including some bonus items, so go check it out. The new workspace experience inside of Power BI is now GA. This is rolling out as this video is being published. For example, uh, as of the recording of this video, I don't see it in my production tenant, but it will be there very, very soon. So if you don't see it today, check tomorrow, literally like check tomorrow. With the GA of the new workspace experience, a couple things are gonna happen. So first off, it's gonna default to the new workspace experience. So if you go create new workspace, you're getting the new workspace. New contact list comes with this. OneDrive integration is now available. Usage metrics are also available in the new workspace experience now, as well as enforcement of license items. So if someone doesn't have a pro license and they try and publish to a new workspace, it's not gonna work. This blog post also goes through and talks about what's going to happen after GA. Not necessarily timelines, but just gives you an idea of what's actually coming, such as the viewer role that will be coming for the new workspace experience. So definitely go check it out. 
This is a good blog post, and there are a couple other blog posts that go through and talk about the new workspace experience and just things to be aware of. I recommend taking some time to go through and understand how this is gonna affect your business and the users in your organization so that you can be helpful. Again, links down in the description below. All right, what was your favorite item this week? For me, it was the fact that the new workspace experience is GA. Been waiting for this for a while, trying to wait patiently. It is now available and I'm excited to see what's gonna come with those new workspaces and some of the things that it will light up in the service, so. That's my perspective, but I wanna pass this off to you. What was your favorite item? Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. Maybe it was something I mentioned. Maybe it was something I didn't. I wanna hear it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.